No deal. The sequence is quite clear, I think. There, maybe they can scrape together 300 million euros to pay on the 5th of June, but, but the IMF document was very clear. 11 billion coming, coming good is not uh, repayable. And anyway, the problem isn't the repayments. The problem is the banks. Your viewers, I think, understand now very well that the banks um, are being kept alive by a form of emergency ECB lending that uh, would be withdrawn um, if there was no deal. Είναι το ερώτημα που απασχολεί τους πάντες. Τι θα συμβεί αν δεν υπάρξει συμφωνία ανάμεσα στην Ελλάδα και τους δανειστές της; Απαντά ο Πολ Μέισον, πολύ γνωστός συγγραφέας και δημοσιογράφος του Βρετανικού Channel 4, που παρακολουθεί από κοντά το ελληνικό δράμα. Βήμα πρώτο, Capital Controls. People would have to get used to the idea of limited withdrawals from, from their ATMs for maybe two weeks until everything calmed down. But then the issue becomes, does Greece default? So the default is the next stage, and if you can't pay your debts, you're technically defaulting whether you want to or not. Um, the split within Syriza, the argument with Syri within Syriza, I think is between people who want to do a hard default and leave the euro, and people who are prepared. And I speak to senior leaders of Syriza, of the government, I think some of them are increasingly prepared to contemplate the default, but not the exit, not the exit from the euro. Then it throws the ball back into the eurozone's court. But make no mistake, if, if things break down, uh, and the Eurozone does not respond to a default in a creative way, then they can force Greece to exit the Euro. Αλλά πόσο πιθανό είναι ένα τέτοιο σενάριο, πόσο κοντά είμαστε σε μια ρήξη, πόσο κοντά σε μια συμφωνία. Ένα πρώτο ερώτημα είναι τι στα αλήθεια επιδιώκουν, τι θέλουν κατά βάθο οι Ευρωπαίοι. And I think that um, the, the Germans, many of the Germans, and most of the rest of Europe does not want Greece to default and does not want Greece to leave the Eurozone and certainly does not want Greece to leave the European Union and go into um, the orbit of the Kremlin. And America is very concerned about that too. Hugo Dixon, Archisyntactis of Praktorio Reuters, και ένα από του οικονομικού αναλυτέ με τη μεγαλύτερη επιρροή διεθνώ. Πιστεύει ότι θα υπάρξει μια συμφωνία. Αλλά δεν θα είναι εύκολο και δεν θα είναι μια καλή συμφωνία για την ελληνική κυβέρνηση. Uh, the good news for Greece is that the creditors have indeed given quite a lot of ground from what one can tell. I mean, the original plan was that the target for this year would be a primary surplus of 3% of GDP. Then that uh, seemed to come down to one and a half percent. But now people are talking about something below that. Now that's good for Greece. Unfortunately, the bad news is that the Greek economy has deteriorated so badly in the last few months that even, say, hitting a one percent um, primary surplus for this year would be probably harder than it would have been to hit a three percent um, surplus if we hadn't been through the shenanigans of the last um, a few months. So I think there is still a long way to go, but the, the key issues I think are the, is probably the pension issue, and we will have to see um, Tsipras crossing some of his red lines. First of all, I think Merkel wants to keep Greece in the Euro and in Europe and has said that the liquidity issues will be solved, i.e. she would not let Greece go bust through an accidental liquidity accident. Um, that's the first thing. Schäuble, I believe, wants to keep Greece in the Euro but only on condition of the actual old memorandum, the Troika deal. And the reason is, uh, this is what I understand he says to the Greeks when he is in, in a private room with them, your memorandum is my greatest weapon for keeping discipline in the rest of Europe. That's what Schauble understands the function of the Greek memorandum to be. Now, what that means is Syriza, the left government, the Syriza Anel government, is a strategic obstacle to the redesign of the euro as a German political hegemonic 
project. That's what it is. It's an accident for them. And they are quite prepared to see Greece out if it will not sign everything. That's the issue. Προκύπτει λοιπόν ένα δεύτερο ερώτημα. Ανεξάρτητα από το τι επιδιώκουν οι Ευρωπαίοι, η ελληνική κυβέρνηση τι θέλει, ως πού μπορεί να φτάσει, σε τι μπορεί να συμφωνήσει. Whatever happens in the next 10 days or 2 weeks, to get over the immediate risk of a bankruptcy, there will have to be a third memorandum, which will have to be agreed sometime over the summer months, Otherwise, Greece will then be facing another bankruptcy uh, come September, and that will require yet more concessions by Syriza. My problem is I can't predict it. I've spoken at the highest level to the Greek government. They don't know. They don't know whether they're going to get a deal. What I can say is that their threat to take it to the wire and their threat to, if necessary, because it's never spoken, but it's an implicit threat, the threat, if necessary, to impose capital controls, to do a controlled default within the Eurozone, is real. Anybody in Europe who doesn't understand that, or anybody in Greece who thinks they are playing, they're not. It is real. They take it very seriously. I am certain they would put um, any deal to a... Any, any controversial deal, I am certain they will put either to a vote or a new election. As it came in, there was a lot of sympathy, even on the right of Europe, because the right of Europe was exasperated, not just with Samaras and Venizelos, but they were exasperated with the Greek political culture and the business climate, which they, they call oligarchs just as much as uh, Syriza uses the word oligarch. They, are, they sometimes use the word uh, crook, criminal. Uh, The, the, the North Europeans do not like Greek business culture, the, 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 the business culture of the large industrial groups in Greece. And they saw Syriza as the, the first set of completely clean hands uh, with no patronage, no favours owed to these guys as, as a party that could come in and, and clean up. Even now, I think that's a strong motivator for the Europeans to do a deal. There was a little bit of hope, as you say, that, I mean, that they might tackle the vested interests that new democracy had failed to tackle. But I think that now the, the feeling is two things. First, um, people are not really convinced that Tsipras really wants to go after the vested interests. And the second thing is that there's a bit of disappointment that um, Tsipras and his ministers are just not on top of enough of the detail that one would need to be on top of if one was really going to go after these vested interests because it's, it's incredibly detailed stuff that you need to get engaged in. Um, so I'm afraid that um, as things stand, it doesn't look that hopeful, but you never know. Um, uh, if, as part of a third memorandum, there is maybe, there may be new elections, maybe we'll see uh, a new Tsipras emerging, maybe with a different group of ministers and a different group of supporters, and, and maybe then it will be possible to tackle some of these things.